Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by a Proof of Taxation's team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 29. Inside this video session guys, we are going to save book form data to our database table. If I back to admin panel, now in the last video, this is the drop down we have added. Now by the help of this create book form, we are going to save the book data to our database table called wp underscore owp owt tbl books back to editor now this is create book panel now by the help of this form id means we are going to specify our form id here so we want that action equal to void here and we are going to specify an ID of this form. So let's say that FRM something create hyphen book here. And the method should be post. So let's say method equal to post. So if I copy this ID, copy that. If I open our JavaScript file and let's say that here inside this simply let's say jQuery this is our form id and we are going to use called the validate method now while adding this validate method we need to make our required fields so the first drop down that is selecting book self is required so if i copy this attribute name go here name section and inside this name we want that the name fields should be mandatory email address should be needed and publication let's say it's not mandatory it's an optional parameter description is also an optional parameter book image also an optional parameter and let's say book cost is required and status is also required all we have done now inside this JavaScript file I'm to use submit handler let's say function where post data equal to I'm to use jQuery here and if I copy this selector pasting it here and we are going to use the serialized method along with our form data it means it will give the form data concatenating with ampersand symbol now we are going to add two more variables like action and parameter so let's say post data concatenating with the values so ampersand action equal to scroll down and if I copy this two variables from here pasting it here and this is all about our action that is admin ajax request and this is all about let's say create book and finally, if I copy this JavaScript code, means jQuery code to actually render our form, after saving the book form data to reload our page, and here is the code. So simply, by the help of these two lines, we are taking or we are just making our post data, which we are going to send to our server, by the help of this jQuery post method. Inside this Ajax URL, we are sending all these data and by the help of this response variable we are reading our response parsing json object and rendering all the variables according to the request sorry response so right now if i make comment of these codes now making the comment of these codes and simply I'm writing it here let's say console.log and let's say response here now if I copy this create book go to this admin file and inside this handle admin ajax request search for this closing block and inside here I'm going to make another else if let's say param equal to create book so simply if I write print R and let's say that request save this change 
back to browser, reload this page, click on inspect element, go to console, if I make some zoom or go inside this network section to detect our Ajax request, let's say that we are going to select this self fun name should be let's say some sample value sample at gmail.com publication dummy value dummy value we are not going to select any book image let's say book cost and click on submit button now here inside this network tab we have our admin ajax request click on that go to review response and here all the variables we are going to submit it to our server so by the help of these values we are going to save all these data to this table called tpl underscore books go to structure back to editor now here simply let's say first all about let's say self underscore id now inside this self id it set let's request and here we are going to provide all about the drop down that is dd underscore book self copy pasting it here, here and it should be numeric value so we are going to use called interval and all about pasting it here otherwise we should have a zero value in the next we have called book name so copy pasting it here and scroll down this is all about the name attribute of this name field copy pasting it here and pasting it here again if I copy this field and remember this name field is not all about this string value means integer value so we have to get rid of this interval function from here and let's say that default value we are going to provide some empty string again go here copy this txt email pasting it here pasting it here and inside this email field as well we are going to get rid of this interval function and in the next we have to actually take the value of publication so again go here copy this field and if I copy this txt publication go here publication this is all about publication in the next we have called description so copy the name attribute pasting it here now we have the variables up to text description now next we have called book image book cost and the status so for now we are not going to use this book image in the next video when we will study about wp media so in that video we will take this value and save to our database table so for now we are going to take all about book cost and the status value copy this self id because it is containing our integer value and in the same i am to copy this txt cost go here and pasting inside these variables and finally we need to take the status value so the status value is coming inside this dt underscore status so copy the name attribute and i am to paste right here all the variables now we are getting right here inside this create book block now only we need to save that so let's say that wpdb and here we have called the insert method now inside this insert method the first parameters let's say for the table name so table activator and inside this we have to call the method for the create book table go to includes folder activator file scroll down and this is the math name so copy the method name go here and pasting it here all about the first parameter should be the table name inside the second 
Inside the second array means our first array of the second parameter, I am to pass our key value pairs of table column as well as our values. Back to browser. Now here we need to pass the name. So let's name here. We need to pass call the amount. So copy here we need to provide the amount. Description. So it should be something description book image so for now we are going to leave blank and here we have called a language field so instead of this language field we want that our email should be here so i need to change the let's say we need to change the name of this column so email save all this change and also remember inside this tool activator means activator file also we need to change about the structure of book here and this is all about we are going to take the email value this file will be activated when our plugin should be installed so here we need to also change the column name go to admin file and in the next after description we want that email value so copy pasting it here now next we have called self id pasting it here and all we have about the status now these are the columns so here we need to provide the txt name so let's say txt name and we are going to save this value let's say str to lower all the value inside our database should save inside lowercase so again if i copy pasting it here and this is for the amount so simply let's txt underscore and the amount i think txt underscore ghost so copy this variable pasting it here this is txt description and here it is again if i check about the description name attribute and here it is now go inside this file now for this email address we have called txt underscore email we are taking it here now next we have called self id so dd underscore book self and finally for this status now this is the variable so let's say that if wpdb insert id greater than zero it means echo json encode passing an array and let's say that a status equal to one and let's say message equal to book created successfully otherwise inside this else block again i'm going to copy this echo json and pasting it here and all we have to provide the invalid status so zero and let's say field to create book now if we save all these changes back to javascript code and i'm going to uncomment all these lines what we have commented before starting this video save all this change go here reload this page now go inside this book table so right now we have no books inside this table so we are ready to create our first book from this book form scroll to top now let's say that here we need to provide self 101 this is all about book1 book1 at gmail.com now let's say book1 publication inside this description so let's say sample content for this book no image selection cost should be 150 actually we need to add a currency symbol here that is 150 is of what unit if you have inr we need to add inr 
if we have called UST, so we need to conc concatenate a means currency symbol right here with this book cost. Now here we have a status, click on submit button, so book created successfully. Click on OK button. The form is reloading itself. Back to table, click on browse. Now inside this, as we can see here, we have all the data. But right here inside this self ID and the status, actually values not saving. So why it is not coming if I back to editor, go to create book and for this status, actually this is 1 for the active and 0 for the inactive because we are storing all about the integer value inside this status column and finally inside this self underscore id so inside this self id this is all about our dd book self and here it is and if we will check about the name attribute of this self id go here And this is all about that is dt underscore book self. Now to debug about the upon value, go here. And again, if I let's say print r request, die here, back to our form, reload this page, go to network tab. So let's say that self2. Here we have some value, something like this. Here we have called is some cost. So click on submit button. Admin Ajax. Now inside this DD book self, we are getting our value. Now what actually parameter we have used here? So this is self ID. And not about DD underscore book self. We are storing inside this self ID variable. So we have this variable mistake, comment this line, reload this page, click the console tab or the inspect element. Now we are going to select about self 102. This is all about book 2, book 2 at gmail.com. This is not mandatory, not mandatory. Book self, let's say 250 INR, click on submit button, book created successfully, back to table, click on browse. Now here we can see that this second book we have created inside this self ID5. So by the help of this video session guys, actually we have saved our book data to, to this book database table. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.